scores up to them. She's had some great scores over at Stanford. Back to the beam, the University of Georgia gym dogs. This is another freshman, Corey Fritzinger from Virginia Beach, Virginia, a former U.S. national team member. And I'm sure the young ladies at Georgia are hoping she can pull off something spectacular right now. This is a must-hit situation, and not just must-hit, must-hit big. Well, the score for Shreves came down just moments ago. 9-2-2-5. So they are off the pace. Remember, they need a 9-7-8 average. No, no. 48.910 is what Georgia needs to win this competition. They've had too many breaks on beam to do it. And we certainly don't want to discount the gym dogs. They will probably be there in April at Nationals. Absolutely. All of these errors that they've made are things that are correctable in time, training. And the only thing, the only way to get competitive experience is competing, and they'll just need more meets under their belt. certainly bodes well for collegiate gymnastics, the future of collegiate gymnastics, to see such strong freshmen coming in and doing rather well under pressure. They can clean up. They can definitely get rid of kind of the early jitters that we're seeing. And by April, we'll see better teams. Well, through four rotations, the University of Georgia looked awfully good. It almost looked like they were going to run away with this, but as you put it out, a lot of breaks in form. This is Corey's dismount. We'll be back with her score and find out who needs what to wrap up the title when we return to Coleman Coliseum and more of the Super Six Challenge right here on ESPN.